Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to another episode of Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. So, let's see, the last episode, I built up this um, iron smelting system here, and the uh, belt over here to bring it out into, into my base, make sure everything was there that I needed. So, there's a couple of things I was thinking um, for today. One of them is that I could probably do with expanding this whole system a bit, doubling it up to, um, to eight, uh, eight furnaces in each section. However, that said, there's clearly plenty of iron being produced at the moment because you can, you can see how all of this is backing up now. So maybe that's not quite as necessary as I was, as I was thinking. So the other thing I wanted to do was, um, was start working on producing brass so I'd be able to get um, some of the more advanced um, inserter types. So what, let's, let's check what I need for brass. There we go for that one. So it's made in a, made in a casting machine. Oh, I need this technology for it. Let's um, research that up. And to make the molten brass, I need copper and zinc. So copper ingot presumably is going to be made by melting copper. So I take copper ore, processed, processed copper, I don't know what that is, or copper ore. Okay, so I'm going to need to develop copper ore from somewhere, um, which can be made, oh, can be made from saf crushed sapphires. So that's not too bad, I can, I've got that. And presumably, oh, and crushed jeevalite as well. Okay, so I can make, I can make that, although it comes back to needing the jeevalite again. Uh, that's not so bad. And what was the other thing? Oh yeah, zinc. So for zinc, I need to find some zinc ore, and that comes from purified sapphire. Jeevalite chunks, jeevalite crystals. Okay, this is still still a bit out of reach because I'm going to need um, I need to get a lot of chunks from somewhere or purified. So how do I make purified sapphire? Let's see, crystals, chunks, crushed, crushed and water. Oh dear, <laughs> this is looking pretty complicated. Uh, right, that's produces a bit of a mess of stuff as well. I don't necessarily want all of those different things. Jeevalite chunks is a bit less crazy. How do I make Jeevalite? Hydro refining. Okay. Um, this is this is new. <laughs> Where do I get to? Uh, let's see, I've got I've got the Jeevalite up here, which I can't really get at. I've got the Jeevalite here, which is going down quite quickly. I've got some over here, down here, over here. That's a nice big patch, but there's, but there's um. Yeah, there's a lot, load of it over there. It's quite a lot out this way, but a lot of it's hidden behind a lot of biters, so that's going to be going to be tricky. This one does seem to be my best bet. I'm just worried about this nest here. Or alternatively, this one down here, which only has this nest to worry about. And then these ones to the side, but they're off to the side. Um, I could go and get that's 2 million, that one's 5 million. I'm tempted to go up, head up this way, and see if, see if I can do some damage to, to this, these guys. Um, first, let's start turning some of this copper and steel that I've got being produced by my Jeevalite patch into, um, into armor-piercing ammunition, because I think I'm going to need a lot of that. So what's the best way to do this? Let's see. What's more Bobmonium? So I don't need Bobmonium at the moment. I've got plenty of um, that tin, I think, from that one. Right, so let's see. Um, how do I do this? So I need what are the time? Time? What are the timings on this? So that takes uh, one second to make. That takes three seconds to make. So I need th one of one of these for every three of these. That's not too much of a problem. Um, and then yeah, okay. Let's have a have a go at that. See if I can make something useful to do this. If I've got any, do I have any assembly machines left? No. Where was I making assembly machines? There. I assume I can't build assembly machine two yet. Um, oh, I can. Oh, that's not too bad. I should probably start building those, actually. Um, later. Okay, so we need one of these feeding... Can I get... I, can I, I can't overlap three of them, unfortunately. One, two, three. That's the best. That probably is the best I can do. That's a bit of a worry. I notice I've got, I've got two of the... Two, two producing the yellow ammunition. And over here I've got... It's about eight, nine producing yellow ammunition. It's going to need a lot more than this to um, to keep up with it. Oh well. Just once, just once, I'd like to be able to build build something up without immediately running out of absolutely everything I'm using to try and build it. Oh, those are yellow ones. That's why I've run out. Okay, that's not so bad. Oh, that means that one, that needs to be a yellow splitter because I've got a fast belt in there. Oh dear, can I build a yellow? I can build a yellow splitter. Good. That's going to take a little while, but never mind. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need this to come along here. And that needs to have steel and copper on it, so let's get that and okay, that's all the stuff going in. 
Now if we have some long handled ones to take it out of these four, and short ones, oh they're already there. And if I <coughs> now apparently the drain on the um, the iron at this point is not enough to make all of the um, to make enough copper come through. I don't know if that's because I've used a splitter rather than just directing the whole lot down here. In fact, let's say make that go to go to the right for now because I've got all of the extra copper here and being produced over here, so I don't need to worry about that too much. <coughs> what else did I need for brass? There was zinc wasn't there, which I needed. Uh, I need to get zinc ore from somewhere, so I need that one. There's not a lot of ammunition coming out of this. Um, clearly this isn't going to be enough to keep the um, the big guns going, but I don't know, I, j I feel like a lot of the stuff I'm doing is just isn't on a big enough scale. Um, I could set up another set of this, I suppose. That. That'll add an extra 50% onto it, which isn't not which is not a huge amount. Um, and that is sort of just about working, but oh, that's why that's also not helping. Better, uh, right? And I suppose the end goal is to get this onto the ammo belts here instead of this y crappy yellow stuff, so that it goes out and feeds the rest of the base. That's manageable. I'll run the belt over there and. Um, and then think about how to make it, how to expand it further later, I think. Just up there. Okay. And that belt goes here. Right, let's stop. Probably shouldn't have done that, actually. No, let's put those back. Let's leave those run... Oh, I don't know. No, I'm not producing anything like enough red to give up this yellow just yet, I don't think. I need to put the, um... I need to keep these running. At least until I get the, um... The red ammunition coming through fast enough that it makes the other stuff, um... Unnecessary. And that definitely isn't the case yet. That said, that's not too bad a stream of it. It's probably only about a third of the amount that's coming out of here, in theory. Oh, actually, this is very, very limited by the amount of iron coming in. So actually, I probably am producing more red than I am yellow. <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, let's go and see if I can put another... If I can expand that production a little bit. Oh, this is interesting. The uh, copper's starting to come around this side now. Now, I did, granted, chuck a huge amount of copper into all of these to get them going. But even so, that's still. Um, I'm quite pleased that there's enough copper production going on that some of it's overspilling. So what I'm going to do next is um, <laughs> actually get some more iron. Oh, I've got to the point where I'm using up all the iron here as well. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> this is the big downside about building anything in an area where all the resources are coming from. Um, because I'm running directly off this mine and trying to use the the resources it's producing, I'm now limited by what it's producing and given that it started to run out a bit around the edges it's not it's not fantastic to be honest um, what would actually be quite a lot better is um, if I could is if I could train the it all in from somewhere else train in a massive quantity of iron a massive quantity of steel and a massive quantity of copper and then build everything using those but unfortunately that's still getting to that level of um, automation and production is still going to be quite some way off Let's see, so that goes there, yes, and this iron belt onto which there is absolutely no iron. <laughs> There's probably no point in hooking, hooking all of this up, to be honest. Um, it's just, there isn't enough iron being produced to actually use it all up. So, I'll just leave that alone for now. Okay, so I need, I reckon I need to go and get that other Jeevalite patch up north. So, I think the best way to do that is going to be to drive out there with, with the armor-piercing ammunition I've just made and start attacking that, that nest up top. So where have I left my car? I'm not holding it. Oh, they're down there. Right, okay. There aren't any other weapons I can produce at this point, are there? I mean, I feel... I, I know I keep asking this. What do these, what do these cargo robots do? Cargo car robot. I don't know. Let's, let's inv research those and find out what happens. <coughs> I know I keep asking about better weapons because I, I keep feeling sure there must be, must be useful things out there. But I just don't seem to be finding any, or I'm not recognising it, or something like that. I, d I don't know. There's, yeah, gun. Gun metal, weapon shooting. I'll, I'll get the weapon shooting speed and physical projectile damage ones. Those are probably worth having, actually. Sorry, cargo bots. You're going to have to wait. That one. Right. Where's my car? There it is. Let's go round, just in case a train decides it wants to come through. <laughs> oh, here's the, this is where the red ammunition's got to. So, eventually, it'll get up to my turrets. Now, the theory is that the turrets that are doing the most shooting are going to be the ones that get the red ammunition first because they'll be they'll empty themselves um, into the biters obviously um, and then need to reload so hopefully it won't be too 
it won't be wasted for too long. Oh, I need to put the ammunition in here. There we go. Now, what's going on here? I think that's probably worth getting rid of first, because it's a bit too close to the bay. That's interesting. The um, grenade seems to be more effective against the worms than the, than the, um, than the bullets. Ow! No! No! Ow! Oh. Right, okay. So, from this, <laughs> we've learned that I'm not actually very good at this um, running in and attacking things, Lark. Uh, let's go and hide while my health returns. Oh, the other thing, of course, is I've just lost all of those... Um, all of that uh, armor-piercing ammunition I built up. Great. <laughs> and you know, the ridiculous thing is, that was supposed to be the easy one. I was treating that as a bit of a warm-up, just go and soften them up a little bit before I headed over to attack this one. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't get to do that. Okay, let's um, let's start off by building a, a belt up here. Maybe I'm just going to build the turrets around it first, and then go from there. Although not very effectively, because I can't build any burner inserters at the moment. Right, so I need the wall to go up about here, should we say. So, let's clear the forest out. There's the jeep light. So I need to come over. Definitely need to be north of that. It's about here. Just had a thought. Can I build up better armour at this point in the game? Have I got... Yeah, I'm wearing light armour. I can make heavy armour. Okay, let's do that. Especially as that guy seems to be coming down to see what's going on down here. Ow. Okay, that's not too bad. And there's some gas here as well, so... I don't know how much there is. 5,000%. I don't really know what, what what gas yield numbers mean. I know bigger numbers means more gas, or at, le at least it, uh, it'll carry on coming for longer before it runs out or before it slows down too much. But I don't really know what it means. Big electric, big, big. I wonder if that's why they did more damage, did to damage me so quickly. They've got their special types of worms. Hmm. I've only got 16 wall. I've, I've just not got enough of anything for this job. I'm going to go back to base and, um, and restock, because this is ridiculous. Let's hitch a ride in that um, coal train. Don't care if you're not full, just go anyway. Definitely beats walking. Okay, let's... Um, I should probably put up, a, put up a warehouse to dump all this junk in instead of an endless series of tiny boxes. Let's have some projectile damage, make them make the bullets a bit more effective. Uh, yeah, because these boxes always end up just getting filled up, which is a bit silly. Um, so I'm going to need more belts, more guns, lots more wall and more iron for the um, building of burner inserters and a car of course and I need to be organized and plan ahead and put another load of gears in this um, thing uh, assembly put some more gears in this assembly machine so that by the time I come back again it'll have enough engines to give me my next car because I'm not naive enough to think that I'm not going to get blown up like that again right so what do I need I need walls I need burner inserters and those I make myself how many turrets have I got? Four. Okay, let's get some more turrets. This one? Yes. And some more red ammunition on the way past, if I can find some. Um, not very much. Is there anything else I need? Oh yeah, belts. I'm going to need a lot of belts. I never have enough belts. Okay, that looks like a decent amount of stuff to be carrying. Why is this stopped? Oh! Right. Yeah, okay. I'm producing so much stone, presumably from that um, mine down here. No, down here. Well, one of these mines. Yeah, this one down here, this iron mine, that it's choked the consumption of it, and I'm not. Oh, I'm not using my bricks up fast enough. Okay, um, I think it's time to build. All right, first I'm going to build a warehouse in order to empty my inventory into it, so that I can pick, so I can dump everything, replace it all with stone bricks, and then build up so many. Is that enough for a warehouse? Yes. So I'm going to make a warehouse, dump my inventory into it, then take s enough stone bricks out of that warehouse to tile as, as much area as I can and hopefully that'll mean I've got enough um, ability to hold a thought for more than... Okay, I can't just dump everything in one go. Right. So yeah, I'm going to em empty as much as I can out of that. Lay it everywhere. How big can I make this? Big enough. And do it again. Oops. Still holding one over a thousand of it. Okay. I have to admit this does feel pretty ridiculous but I need to use it up somehow. I mean, it's either that or build another warehouse to put it all in. But that seems a, that seems a bit silly, I have to admit. There. Now what I'm going to do here is also... This means I won't be able to do what I just did again, which is a bit of a shame. But um, it'll put everything in... Store, store all of my general pocket rubbish in this one warehouse instead of in all the different boxes. Which I think is, is a bit neater. It consolidates it all down a bit. And yeah, that should, should be a bit better in general. Now, how's my... Um, it's... Yeah, I mean, it is getting used up again now. 
Not quite fast enough, clearly, but um, because there is still some room on this belt. Or rather, this belt isn't moving at full speed. Let's nip up there, and I, I think I can see how to make that work a little bit more efficiently. It's not going to make an enormous difference, but it's going to help a little. So if I come up here and I do that to get rid of this workaround. And now, because I've realised about the near side of belt inserters, I can now come along here and have every other one of these be a near sider. So that'd be you, you, you. I, shouldn't then, I then shouldn't need this, um, this thing here, but there's no harm in leaving it in place. This might now run slightly more efficiently because nothing, none of these are ever going to be blocked, but it does still need slightly more, <laughs> amazingly, because that belt still isn't running absolutely flat out. That's crazy. So which is the bottleneck here? It's the furnaces. Okay. Have I got steel furnaces as a, as a thing? Oil, that one. I mean, that is achievable, and I can get steel furnaces. That might be worth doing, speed up all my furnaces a bit. Um, but at least, as you can see, I've now got red ammunition trickling through. It's not exactly quick, but it's a step in the right direction. It was going so wonderfully quickly before. We're still, yeah, still limited by... No, not limited by the crushed stone anymore. That is pretty much okay. In fact, that is okay. Limited by steel input, by the looks of it. What's limiting steel production? Oh, it's, it's, the steel production is then limited by the iron that's coming in at the top. <laughs> oh well. Oxygen gas is being being used, uh, uh, is being produced fast enough. So, yeah, I need more. I need more iron coming in. I just need more more iron everywhere. <laughs> Maybe I should run a belt up from down here. Start my get my steel production running a bit more. Um, a bit more. Just a bit more. Okay, I've lost track of what I was doing now. Oh yes, I was going to go back up here and build this build this belt, wasn't I? Okay, let's go and give that a shot. I suppose really I should have used the um, but all that uh, stone brick I was all that stone brick I was putting down. I should have used it to make actual useful roads, like going up here and that sort of thing. Um, but I have to admit, at the time I was just trying to get rid of it all as quickly as I could. I don't need this much um, <laughs> yellow ammunition. It's not really much good for anything. Now it occurs to me that wall's in the wrong place. I should have had that. Um, come up in such a position that I can just continue I can continue the lines of turrets up straight from this one. So that turret will go there, therefore this wall will go there. It's easy enough to fix. But I reckon it's better to put the belts in first, don't I? So we have a belt there, and of course therefore a splitter there. Yep. That's a new nest just to the north of me, isn't it? That wasn't there. Was that there? Oh no, no, that was there before. The biters do spread. They, um grow their territory. You're not going any closer to those. <laughs> um, yeah, so biters will spread their bases out and try and take over extra territory. Um, I don't know how quickly it happens or if there's anything you can really do to stop it. There used to be a, um, a joke about as long as you had a... Um, I think it was a... You had, if, you, if you had any building at all in a, um, in a chunk, then the biters wouldn't expand into that chunk. So that, that led to the um, running joke of, I think, I think people call them liberty poles, which was just quite simply a, um, a cheap, a cheap wooden, basic wooden power pole that you put up every so often, just wherever you, wherever you destroyed a biter's nest, to make sure that they couldn't grow another one in the same place. But I think they're a bit less fussy now. Um, I think they've, I think they're a bit, a bit better to expand, a bit more able to expand, even if you've sort of claimed that area already. But I guess we'll find out. Okay. Actually, let's put that there for ease of access. In fact, in fact, there don't seem to be any guards for this one. Let's just... Most there are. It's alright, they're all small ones. There we go. That was a bit too close for comfort, really, that one. Any more? Good. There's almost no ammunition coming up this belt, which means this isn't going to be the most effective um, defence, at least not yet. Especially as I can hear biters. Yeah, I can hear them from here, so that's... They've noticed me. Or at least they've noticed my turrets, I'm not sure. Either way, it's not great. Uh, let's give those turrets some ammunition each. Just in case anything tries to come down this way, like those guys. I might put in a sniper, t a couple of sniper turrets here as well. A couple apparently means three. And I'll... Right, hopefully that'll defend that corner for the time being, while I head off and do the rest of this. The thing is, this row of, um, this row of wall here should render the one to the south of it basically unnecessary. So, at least once I've got it all defended and um, yeah, defeated those two worms because they're actually they're in them in my um, in my territory now. But I should be able to take on two big worms surely with grenades and a car and so on. Uh, once I've got rid of all of that, I can pull up all of this wall along here 
And that'll free up a load of ammunition, a load of coal, and a load more turrets, and a load more wall pieces that I can use somewhere else. <sighs> like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go next. But there is certainly potential. Okay, let's stop prevaricating about the bush. Car, ammo, fuel, ridiculous levels of bravery. Trying to hit those rocks. Ah, all those rocks. That's interesting. These sort of spitters don't leave acid puddles around because they're firing some sort of different weapon. Yeah! Victorious. Just. <laughs> Ooh, and some stone as well. Lovely. Okay, so that was that was quite good because not only have I now um, got rid of that threat that was inside my walls, so I don't need to worry about it anymore, and I can build this wall all the way over to the sea, I've also discovered gas. And at some point, I'm going to need a lot of gas, um, or oil, or something like that, in order to start making plastic. Because if I know anything about Factorio, you need a lot of plastic. And, and, and plastic comes from oil. And the other thing I know about um, Angel Bobs is that oil processing is extremely complicated. I will admit, I'm not really looking forward to delving into the um, Angel's Petrochem stuff. I'm, I promise I'm not being deliberately slow or anything about it. But I am aware that it's difficult and complicated and um, may sap what is left of my sanity. Oh, physical projectile damage. Just in time for me to have finished all of the combat I was doing. Great. Good job. Uh, let's have some more of it anyway. Robotic attack drones. That sounds useful but gated behind lots of other stuff. Same with turret 3. That needs invar and so forth. Um, <laughs> purple science. Yeah. Shotgun plasma shells. Sounds fun. Uh, not yet, sadly. I hope these guns are going to be enough. Have they got any kills yet? No, so nothing's nothing's drifted down quite far enough to get in their range yet. That might be a good thing, because I suspect if any, once anything, once one thing does, everything else will follow. <laughs> and that might be a bit much. Okay, so I'm going to do one more thing before I go. I'm going to turn the, um, the belt round that feeds the ammunition to the other turrets that I don't need anymore. And then have a think about how to get... Yeah, stop going that way. So, let's see... If I just feed this along here and feed it straight up into that one, then I'm going to get the um, everything the wrong way round. But if I let's see, if I do this and say coal goes on the left, and then so ammo will have to go on the right. Uh, no, let's do that and priority to the right. Uh, no, input priority to the right, output priority to the left. Um, and now if I run along here like this. All of this ammunition will pour straight back out up that belt and will load up my nice new uh, gun turrets rather than having to wait for it all to be built in the factory, which as we uh, as we know is running rather slowly. The coal will take a long time to get through, of course, because I'm not really using the coal up at any great rate, because the burner inserters can survive for quite a long time on a single piece of coal. The ammunition, on the other hand, is a bit more valuable. Oops. I might just be lazy about the walls, actually, and leave them, because... <laughs> Pulling those up as well is slowing me down quite a lot. Right, oh, and I've picked up an enormous amount of ammunition as well. Let's um, get rid of this the usual way. Uh, except I don't have a power up here, so I'm going to have to do a slightly less usual than version of the usual way. And you get some coal to do that with. Oh, don't be a near inserter. Uh, how do I... that one? No, that one. That, no. Right, yeah, have some... take some fuel. Goodness sake. <laughs> right. No, nope, no bigger inventory with that one. That's a shame. Right. So, that's been kind of productive. Basically, I've spent the entire episode realising that I don't have enough iron and work, trying to work out where to get it, how to get it going. Which is sort of ironic, given how much I um, I have here. That was, again, pun not deliberate. Um, basically, I've got the iron in the wrong place, so I need to take this and maybe get it up here and start turning it into ammunition and steel. This whole Jeevalite mine was a good exercise in learning about how to mine and sort and faff jiva light but to be honest it's not been that great um it's not been that it's not been that productive i mean yeah, yeah okay it's produced more copper than i knew what to do with for a while it was keeping the steel production going quite happily but it's a bit too small it's a bit too localized to my base so i need to start thinking a bit bigger shipping in metals like this and building do, dealing with them in this sort of scale Maybe have another copper one underneath here at some point, and a jeevalite one down here that will turn jeevalite into all of the mi million things I need. And then, since some of that might include iron, if I'm if I'm unlucky, I might need to then work out how to sort it. So, yeah, next episode I think is going to involve getting a tra getting my trains up to here, and um, starting to mine the jeevalite from here, 
and probably tra train that all the way down to here and set up some sort of big Jivalite processing facility. And exactly what processing is going to involve is going to be another is going to be a bit of a learning experience because as we've seen, I need to get zinc in order to make um, in order to make brass. Uh, brass is made from molten brass is made from zinc is made from zinc ore which comes from jivalite chunks so somehow I need to make jivalite chunks which is apparently jivalite and water I don't know this is going to take some um, some experimentation and some learning and uh, so um, I think that could, that's going to be quite interesting I do hope you'll you'll join me for that so as ever thank you for watching I've done a little bit of expanding this episode so it feels like something's happened thank you for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs>